All right, so this is going to be a Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon, and as well Capricorn Rising. Uh, weekly general tarot reading June 1st to June 7th, uh, 2020. And uh, in case any of you guys is interested in a uh, personal reading, you can check out the description down below. And uh, there you're going to find a link to my website uh, from which you can purchase such. And as well, uh, if you like the way I read tarot cards, my um, beginner's tarot class is starting at 21st of June. So if you do want to sign up for it, uh, all that you got to do is to just purchase it from the tarot class section at my website as well. So that being set aside, moving to the general tarot reading for you Capricorn. Now the first card here is the very topic of the week and that is going to be the Queen of Swords. Moving next, we do have the uh, energies which are feeding and supporting the topic. That is going to be the uh, Six of Wands. Moving next, we do have the challenges that you have to overcome throughout the week. That is going to be the Ace of Swords. Afterwards, we have the Gifts and the Blessings. And that, that is a great card, having it into such narrative here. Uh, that is going to be the, the Seven of Cups. Moving next, it is the impression of the people around um uh, that is going to be the uh, wheel of fortune and the last one it is the guidance that the tower is offering so we do have the tree of swords okay so uh this week it does look like that you are going to step on a previous uh, accomplishments and previous achievements so pretty much it is a week where the hard labor you have placed beforehand in term of love or in term of relationship regardless you know whatever wherever you have toiled that it finally pays off it gives results and not just only that but also allows you to expand even further so what we do have here in terms of energies it is that that is exactly what the energies points that because of of the things that you have predisposed back in, back in your past in terms of career and in terms of relationship those energies throughout the week are going to give you the necessary or the deserved recognition and the deserved rewards as well so pretty much you are to reach the milestone you have toiled for once again in terms of career or in terms of relationship and depending on what kind of a milestone because for everybody uh from you for you capricorn is going to be a rather different kind of a milestone so uh depending on what kind of a milestone you are to reach the rewards are going to be different you know they could be money they could be power you know they could be a new promotion they could be a new relationship uh they could be a helping hand that comes uh, that comes at your rate the point however it is that based on those rewards because of your previous achievements you reach to the topic itself and this is where the, the big deal really happens. I mean, the real deal. So with the Queen of Swords as a main topic of the week, that means with, 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 that with those rewards and the recognition, or, or in other words, with the foundation of the milestone that you have accomplished, you are going to be able to expand even further. So what happens here it is that because now you do have more to work with, is what I mean, uh, you can become much more in, um, emancipated to the current situation. You can find a way through that previously was impossible for you to even comprehend, if you will. So whatever challenge you are facing at right now, you definitely can push through that um, that particular challenge. Now, the thing with the Queen of Swords, it is that it does rely a lot on um, information. What I mean it is that it is very important that you do research what you are up against before uh, you try to fix it or you try to overwhelm it uh, and you try to, uh, how can I say, to overcome it. Because you got to take it that way. Information, it is the resource this week that makes you indomitable. Okay, it's just if you are forewarned, nothing actually, not just only can surprise you, but nothing can lay off your plans and your drive moving forward into the future to fix your relationship, to be in a new relationship, to be uh, successful into your career and so on and so forth. And that is all because you've done your homework. This is all because, you know, you toiled previously and now the hard work pays off. So moving next, we do have 
the challenges that you will have to overcome and that is the challenge of the ace of wands so first and foremost the ace of wands here uh, as a challenge it points that you have to go by the passion meaning that um it's difficult to describe so um It's like, imagine in that situation, you know, that you now have the resources and you're not feeling like, you know, proceeding any further because you may be, um, how can I say, you may be uh, pleased with the current circumstances. And that is one of the challenges that you need to keep up maintaining your passion moving forward because with the Ace of Wands, Whatever it is, the breakthrough from now on, whatever you can accomplish or you can expand on based on your uh, milestone that you are to accomplish throughout the week, it will prove itself to be really gaining for enterprise in terms of career or in terms of relationship. Now, it may be a little bit scary, though, because uh, the concepts of the enterprise in itself may not be entirely familiar with you meaning that uh, for example that is a, about you are to be recognized and being placed in a new position at work you know that new position may not be exactly very familiar with you i mean you may not be you may not be in the hang of it straight away and this is where the information comes in i mean if you do research that makes your position indomitable, just like I said, and nobody will be able to jeopardize it in any way whatsoever. So that being said, you got to believe that even though or you got to enter the week with that mindset that even though you may not be almighty, even though you may not know everything, you can adapt pretty, pretty quickly and you can learn as well very, very fast. And um, uh, through those, uh, through that challenge, you know, of making, if you will, the leap of faith, uh, it's very likely that the majority of you are going to uh, find out some certain talents that they had no idea they possess, some certain, you know, concepts uh, or uh, um, abilities that they do have that have been slumbered up until now. So moving next, we do have the uh, gifts and the blessings that you get to enjoy throughout the week here. Capricorn, that is going to be the Seven of Cups. So uh, the, the biggest gift of the Seven of Cups, it is that your uh, dreams are based on the breakthrough that you are to establish throughout the week or the expand. Uh, they could be as big as the moon, okay, or as, as big as the universe. Because here as a gift and blessing right now, the outcome of your drive or the outcome of your dreams is anybody's guess so they are definitely accomplishable how long that is going to take well again it's anybody's guess but even if um uh, not even if not even if but do not allow anybody to tell you that you can't go for something or that you can't accomplish something that it cannot be the way you want it to be because definitely can if you are willing to put the effort and the time behind it and the other thing that the seven of cups here as a gift and blessing gives you really or blesses you throughout the week it is that uh, it goes like that it is never too late okay so you do make something wrong okay in terms of career or in terms of relationship it is never too late to fix it and you can definitely bounce back from a failure disappointment um wrong stepping and so on and so forth so what is the impression that you're going to leave into the people around that is to be the uh, wheel of fortune and pretty much people are going to see you as a lucky bee all right uh, they will kind of like um envy you straight away here with the uh, wheel of fortune because the true vision of the people around it is that through the milestone you have accomplished you now have that rare once in a lifetime opportunity to make the uh how do you to to make the space jump you know in those movies where the spaceships are jumping from one universe to another something like that uh, that may not be the reality okay but this is just how the people are gonna look at you and um the true impression of that is that it is like you have won the lottery all right they will think that that if they had the same luck as you did right now you know that that would have fixed their lives and it's not luck as we saw previously okay that is all because you have predisposed your life for it i know because it has been gifted to you 
from the universe itself. Nonetheless, that doesn't make the opportunity less exciting. So it is, it is um, how can I say it? It is uh, advisable for you to uh, pretty much indulge yourself with it. And the last card that we do have for you, Capricorn, that is going to be uh, the guidance that Tara is offering. We do have the Tree of Swords. So a couple of guidances here, really. The first one is that you are never going to be able to satisfy everybody. There are going to be or there are going to be always those that um, are going to hate you. Unfortunately, we all are the villains and the antagonists in somebody's movie. Right. So no matter how much you try to satisfy everybody around, you will never going to be able to. So it's very important to stop thinking about what people think of you and what people anticipate from you, but instead start doing things for yourself. One other thing it is that you are on the right track with the Tree of Swords when the things are difficult. OK, when your back is, is against the wall then that thing you are fighting for and having your back against the wall for it, it's really, really worth it. And one last thing as a guidance, do not allow previous misfortune and previous failure, you know, to pollute the ambition that you're going to have and the enthusiasm that you're going to have moving forward into the future with your new uh, newfound powers and newfound, um, how can I say it, means, okay? Because past is past and future past is something that is certain. What I mean is that is already set, but the future is yet to be built. And it does look like that you do have the hammer through which you are to forge your own destiny moving forward. So that being said, Capricorn, this was your weekly general tarot reading, June 1st to June 7th, 2020. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it. And once again, if you're interested in a private reading, um, you can check out the description down below and there you're going to find a link to my website from which you can uh, purchase such. And as well, if you're interested in to start learning to read tarot cards, uh, I'm offering a six weeks along a tarot class um, to sign up for it. You have to purchase it from the tarot classes section of my website. And as soon as you do so, within 24 hours, I'm going to come back to you via email explaining you how the whole thing is going to take place. So that being said, hopefully we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.